that morning guys so welcome to you today and what a day it is so you guys know that I've been complaining about the pain in my finger for days now I've had this little infection for like a week you guys see it I don't know if you can see it well I lanced it and squeezed out all the pus put some cream on it wrapped it and the infection all came out but it stayed really red so it stayed really red and it's still been hurting but just mildly hurting so I've been watching it I did like a potato poultice the other day it's like a natural treatment you, you make a poultice out of potato I kept it on for 12 hours overnight and it took all the swelling out of my finger and it made it so good but then after I took the poultice off like 12 hours later it was it was sore again and just a little bit red but it wasn't swollen or anything it just was still hurting me so I was just kind of trying to watch it make sure that it didn't get any worse it's just an infection in my finger I've had a million times every single summer almost every single summer when I start digging in the garden that finger that one finger always gets infected every summer this is the second time I got infected this summer I have just been watching it not really paying much attention to it I've tried to stop complaining about it have I been complaining about it Sam? He thinks I'm overreacting. So anyways, I try not to complain about it. I did say every day, my finger hurts. But anyways, fast forward to 4 a.m. I went to bed last night. I woke up at 4 a.m. and I was like, what is wrong? There's something wrong with me. I don't know what it is. I knew there was something wrong. I couldn't figure out what it is. But I knew that it was my arm, the same arm with the finger. But it was up high on my arm, like from between my wrist and my elbow was, was aching, was hurting. And it felt really swollen. And so then I started panicking in my sleep. Like I just woken up. I felt like my arm was swollen. I felt like it was hurting. I'm like, I better not have an infection in my arm. I better not have an infection in my bloodstream. I better not be going septic. Like a septic infection is when an infection goes through your bloodstream, which can happen with any kind of a cut. Any, You can have a cut so tiny that you don't even know where it is and still become septic. And septic infection can turn into septic shock. And once you turn into septic shock, your body starts shutting down you could like lose your limbs you could lose your life like it's serious stuff so anyways at 4 a.m. I like talked myself into thinking I had sepsis I was like that finger is infected it's gone into my arm and then I was thinking to myself maybe it's just a spider bite maybe I just got a spider bite and then I convinced myself to just go back to sleep because I only had a couple more hours to sleep and I needed to sleep and I did keep ro rolling and turning around and feeling like that pain in my arm it's not a horrible pain but I could feel like it feels swollen and it just kind of feels tingly and hurty and I even contemplated waking up Sam and saying Sam I have I have sepsis you need to take me to the hospital right now while the girls are asleep but I went back to sleep instead fast forward to 6 a.m. and I woke up and my arm is feeling like it just feels really achy I put my hand on my arm and it feels really hot so I looked down and I could see that it looks swollen it's not like tight how it when it gets swollen and it's really tight but it's bigger and puffier than normal and then uh, and so I'm kind of just watching it and thinking like going back and forth like this is something I need to take care of then I message a few of my friends and I'm like I could probably just ignore this right and most of them are like no you probably shouldn't ignore it because I hate going to the doctor and so I decided I'm just going to ignore it I decided I have antibiotics. I have a prescription for antibiotics that I didn't fill because I don't take medication very often. I'm not good at that. And so I thought like, I'll just get those filled. And then all of a sudden I started to get a splotchy rash on my arm. And then the splotchy rash turned into this red line. So I have this red line. And then the red line went from one area and then it slowly was moving up my arm throughout the whole morning. And I took a marker and I put a little mark about an hour ago to see like where that line ended and now it's about a half an inch further than the red than the mark that I put so those are all really good signs of sepsis <laughs> so I, and I have a cut like you can get sepsis without even having a cut I have a big cut so I'm going to the hospital <laughs> I did. I terrified myself, you guys. I don't know. Maybe there's nothing wrong with me. I'll try and show you guys. I don't even know if you can see. I don't know if the... I, I can't tell if you guys can see. It's... I don't know if you can see, but from here to here is really puffy and really tender and it really hurts. The pain goes kind of like from my elbow to my armpit. And then you can see a splotchy rash around here. I don't know if you guys can see it because the sun is really bright. Like even that hurts. But then there's a line that starts about here and it goes up to here. 
and it stopped here and now it's about here so there's about this much space that it's grown in the last hour if the video footage doesn't show it very well i'll try and take a picture it's light it's not like super dark but it's not like so light that you can't see it i can see it i can see it getting bigger and it's probably nothing like it's probably if it's sepsis it's probably like the very beginning of sepsis you have about maybe 24 hours or so before it turns into septic shock like goes through your whole body so I probably just need some antibiotics. And that is the goal today. I'm headed in to go to the hospital and because my doctor couldn't get me in and I'm just going to go and get some antibiotics so that I don't die because I like living. So there's that. I literally scared myself so bad thinking because sepsis is scary. Like it is so scary because it can be over just like that. Like it can be, it can start and finish so fast you don't even know. So you don't even know what happened to you or what hit you. So I'm just going to go get it checked out. The fact that I have like that red line makes me suspicious. I hate going to the doctor with all of my might, but I'm going to do it because I love my family and I love my life. So wish me luck and I'll keep you guys updated. Look at how huge they are. Now that's a pill. All right, we are on our way home, thank goodness. I got my finger re-doctored. She did a much better job than we did. Um, so I think what happened was that we lanced it and we squeezed everything out. And I kept saying to Sam like, it's still not okay, it's still not okay, it's still not okay. And then he kept saying, squeezing it and saying, it's empty, it's empty. So it's, I can't do like it's my right hand that's hurt so it's hard for me to do any of it with my left hand so I had to rely on him and then he failed me no <laughs> just kidding <laughs> next time I will get a big scalpel and cut that she hole. did it and then there was no pain I mean when she was squeezing out all the blood and guts it was a little bit painful but for the most part there was no pain she was amazing they were amazing I got to fast track ahead of everybody there was four people ahead of me and we all got sent to the emergency area and I got called first. I felt proud. I felt so glad because it was going to be hours of sitting there and I got to go in and she took care of it. So the rash is moving at my arm a lot more. I have like more lines of it. When we get home, I'll show you. I'll get Sam to film it and show you. It's like hurting so much more. I just took my first pill and my vitals were perfect. I didn't have a fever. I felt great. But now I just like 11 hours into this whole ordeal. I'm starting to feel sick. I'm starting to feel tired. I'm starting to feel like I have a fever and I'm just starting to feel run down. It's the beginning of how you get sick. But I never get sick. So hopefully that antibiotic will be enough to push me back up really soon. But anyway, I've just taken them for seven days. After two days, if I don't notice a difference and I still see the tracking on my arm, that red line that's tracking like where it's going through my bloodstream, um, then I have to go back because I'll need either IV antibiotics or I'll need to switch antibiotics, whatever they decide. But I have faith. I have faith that the ones that they gave me are going to work. But that is a whole day wasted, you guys. A whole day gone, finished, just getting me all fixed up. I like, my heart goes out to people who have health issues that keep them in doctor's offices and pharmacies all the time. Like it takes a lot of your day, it takes a lot out of you. You can't just sit and enjoy all the amazing that is your life. So I feel bad for you. I feel I feel bad for that. I feel bad for anybody who has to go through this on a regular basis. Once every like 10 years is enough for yeah, me. You know our neighbor? Yeah. She had cancer. She had to go drive an hour to the hospital every day. Wow. From Monday to Friday. She had weekends off. Wow. She had to do it every day. Had to go Monday, spend the whole day there, come back, go back. Every day. Yeah, for probably like for six like weeks. a long time. Yeah. Awful. Awful. Terrible. Awful. Anyway, we're headed home to see our kids and our and our animals. I'm super excited. All right. So, not to keep talking about the same thing. <laughs> I don't know how good this vlog is going to be today, but I'm starting to feel sick now. I'm 12 hours in. I think I'm getting a fever. I just want to sleep, and I don't feel good. I feel like I have a flu. But it's crazy how, like, I knew I had a really bad infection before I even had symptoms. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, Sophie, come over here and show them my arm in the shade. I don't know if you can see. There's more red lines up at the top here. There's one 
going, they're going all different ways. And then down here, I have more. I don't know if it's picking it up. And then also my elbow is all swollen. Isn't that crazy though? How like septic shock can set in when you have a blood infection in 12 to 24 hours. For me, I caught this infection probably the minute it started going through my bloodstream. It's been 12 hours. Just starting to feel sick at 12 hours. Oh my God, I really feel sick. Oh, I never feel sick. Anyways. If I waited until now, if I waited for like 24 hours to go and get medicine, I could have ended up way worse. I just want to say like, I think this is such a good like teaching moment because I've never gone through like a septic infection before and it was really interesting. Like I could see it moving up my arm. It was really interesting. To end this vlog, we're going to do this little um, a challenge. We're going to use marshmallow fluff and coke and we're gonna make a little drink this is gonna be bad no people say it's really good okay what do we do pour this in there no you put marshmallow fluff in this inside the cup first like just at the bottom no all around the sides it's not a twist then i don't know if this is exactly how it's supposed to go but this is how it's going this is gabby's cup so you put marshmallow fluff and then you add some coke and you stir it all up if this is not good, I'm just drinking Coke. I made you a special drink. I don't know, maybe it means more Coke. It's a viral drink. Does it taste like really sweet, but like cotton candy almost? Cotton candy? I just got a chunk of marshmallow. I got really scared. <laughs> I know, it's weird. Weird consistency, but it tastes like cotton candy. It tastes like old Coca-Cola. Yeah, you know when you leave this flat. and there's no bubbles in yeah. it? Yeah. Tastes like that. All right, I think we did it. Something wrong. It tastes disgusting, actually. It's not even good. That's it, sadly, for today's video. I'm just going to lay down and put my sweater on. I don't feel good, and it's important to take care of yourself when you're not, feel good. When you're not feeling good. It's important to rest and not always push yourself. I always push myself. It's gonna be a rest day. I just wanted to say this. I had so many things planned today, but I wanted to tell you guys that tomorrow finally is the day that the saddle fitter is coming to adjust Sophie's saddle to fit her and to fit Lady. So as you're watching this, Sophie will be getting her saddle completely refigured and her and Lady will be even further ahead than they are now. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Who paid for a breadstick? Be careful if you get cuts. Take care of them right away and be very diligent about wearing gloves until it's healed. Anyway, that's it. I'm sorry for the short vlog. See you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?